Subpaisa, one of India's leading payment gateways, offers a single platform for payment collection to payouts. We are the only payment gateway that supports all types of payments, cards, net banking, UPI, wallets, and offline. In this video, we will learn to integrate the Subpesa payment gateway with the PHP web application. Before we begin, we must take the credentials from your account manager and save the credentials in your system. Open the PHP standard integration document from the Subpesa website. Start the integration process. Below are the steps to be followed. Step 1. Initialize the PHP code for the Subpesa payment gateway. Let's set up our project environment step by step. We'll start by creating a new folder for our Subpesa payment gateway integration and then open it in Visual Studio Code. Create the subpacer request.php file and open it. Here, you can start writing your PHP code for initiating the payment request. We start by initiating a new session. First, set up the necessary credentials. This includes the client code, username, password, authentication key, and authentication IV. These credentials are crucial for authenticating and authorizing transactions with Subpesa Payment Gateway. Make sure to use the credentials provided by your account manager for proper integration. Moving on, we define details about the payer, such as their name, email, mobile number, and address. Moving on to transaction details, we generate a random client transaction ID, set the transaction amount, amount type, MCC, Merchant Category Code, Channel ID, whether it's for web or mobile, and the callback URL where Sapesa will send the response. There's also the option to include extra parameters. In this example, we use two parameters, class and role, but you can use up to 20 extra parameters if needed. Now, we construct a data string to be encrypted using all the information we gathered earlier. As we delve into the encryption process, we initiate the use of the Acipher class. This class contains methods to encrypt and decrypt data using the AAs. 128. BC Cipher Algorithm. Creating an instance of the Acipher class allows us to access its encryption functionalities. Now, let's put this class to work. We call the encrypt method with three essential parameters. The authentication key, auth key, the initialization, vector authiv, and the constructed data, string, keynes data. By including authentication.php, we ensure that our current script has access to the authentication logic. The result of this encryption process is stored in the variable data. This variable now holds our sensitive data in a secure, encrypted form. Coming to the HTML section, we create a form that will submit the encrypted data to Subpesa's URL. The form includes hidden input fields for the encrypted data, client code, and a submit button. For testing purposes, we set the form action to Subpesa's stage URL. However, when deploying in a live environment, make sure to switch this to the production URL provided by Subpesa. Create the subpaserresponse.php file and open it. Here, you can start writing your PHP code for handling Subpesa payment gateway response. We begin by starting a session and retrieving the encrypted response data from the request file. Next, we set up the authentication key and initialization vector needed for decrypting the data. These credentials should match those shared by your Subpesa account manager Coming to the decrypt process, we initiate the use of the Acipher class. This class contains methods to encrypt and decrypt data using the A's. 128, BC Cipher Algorithm. To decrypt the received data, we create a variable ODEC text to store the decrypted result. Creating an instance of the Acipher class allows us to access its decryption functionalities. Now, 
The decryption process begins by calling the decrypt method of the Acipher class. This method takes three parameters. The authentication key, auth key, the initialization vector, euthiv, and the encrypted data, query. By including authentication.php, we ensure that our current script has access to the authentication logic. After decryption, we have a response containing various key-value pairs. These include details such as payer information, transaction status, and more. The script uses the Strotic function to extract key-value pairs from the decrypted response. It then assigns values to variables based on the keys such as payer email, mobile, transaction ID, and more. Now, moving on to the HTML content, we create a page displaying payment status information. The page includes a thank you message, the payment amount, payment status and buttons for printing a receipt and downloading a prospectus. As we conclude the response file, it's crucial to remember to specify the callback URL for handling the response. If you have any queries or need clarification about the code, please refer to the reference code mentioned in the documentation page number 2. Step 2. Access the Subpesa checkout page. After initiating the payment request, Subpesa checkout page appears. Here, you can seamlessly select your preferred payment mode, enter the necessary payment details, and proceed to complete the payment. Once done, the system generates a response, providing you with key information, including the amount and payment status. Thank you. Visit subpesa.in to know more information.